Good morning. I don't have any major announcements to share today, but in my ongoing pledge to connect with you as frequently as possible, I wanted to get this message out. It's Sunday, and many Gresham families are learning how to navigate our temporary new normal. This is likely the day of the week when your families tend to hit the stride of your weekend routines. For those who don't normally have to work on the weekends, maybe this is the day you traditionally get some much needed rest or caught up on household chores and activities. Under normal circumstances, maybe you would attend church services and enjoy the company of your friends and neighbors. Maybe this is the day when you tend to get the week's shopping done and focus on meal preparation and school lunches. Just a couple weeks ago, it felt unimaginable that these regular routines would be so deeply disrupted. Added to that, for so many families in our community is anxiety around the healthcare challenge in front of us and an economy that has disrupted our sources of income and created so much uncertainty. I wanna validate those anxieties, concerns, fears, and uncertainty. We are going through a lot right now. When we heard our parents and our grandparents tell crazy stories about different points in the, our nation's history and different major global events, maybe those felt distant or intangible. Well, that's certainly not the case any longer. This is big stuff, and it will define our resilience, our tenacity, and our social and communal fabric for generations. I also want to acknowledge the flood of information we're seeing online and on social media right now, and about the challenge before us. At times, this information has been critically important and very effective. The charts and graphics explaining the principles behind social distancing and our shared prerogative to flatten the curve will result in lives being saved. It's that simple. At the same time, other material has been unreliable and only served to heighten anxieties. We need to keep clear eyes as we navigate the myriad sources of unjuried and unedited information. And in the midst of this, as hard as it will be, we must continually find ways to protect our physical and mental health. Pray, meditate, exercise, focus on the things in your lives that matter the very most, our families, our close friends, our loved ones, our pets, our faith. Seek timeless wisdom from your favorite scriptures, poetry, literature, and songs. Personally, I've got Chris Christopherson playing on an infinite loop right now. If you find yourself in a mental health crisis, Multnomah County has met mental health experts standing by day and night free of charge. I urge you to reach out, ask for help and call 503-988-4888. They are there to listen. I am so incredibly proud of the people on the front lines right now. Our medical professionals from the top ER doctors to the hospital janitors are some of the most amazing, bravest professionals I can imagine. And right along with them, our first responders right here in Gresham your police officers, your firefighters will staff their posts because they know that you rely on them and they will be there for you. These amazing public servants inspire us in normal times, but in times like this, they really show what dedication looks like. And let's not forget the folks in our society who are also stepping forward in the face of the unknown to keep our supply chains flowing and our store shelves stocked. These people are also heroes and I know our whole community tremendously appreciates the work they're doing right now. So many people are doing so many things right now to keep our core system up and operational. Many of them will never get the recognition that they deserve, but they are saints among us, exercising quiet bravery, and I can't express how much I deeply appreciate them. While this challenge is the very last thing I would have ever wanted us to have to face, I know we are ready to make the most of it. Our social perspectives will never be the same. I'll admit, an invitation has crossed my desk a time or two, and I've wondered, do I have the social capacity to commit? Well, I can't wait for the day to come soon when I can accept every invitation on the other end of this, and I'm going to hold backyard barbecues, pick up basketball games like we've never done before. I'll relish the opportunity to take in a Music Monday with my fellow Greshamites, and I have a feeling our arts festival, whenever that will be, will be the biggest community celebration we've ever had together. And make no mistake, we will return to normal. We're doing everything we can to make sure that the heart and soul of our vibrancy and vitality makes it there with us. We're supporting our small businesses and doing everything we can to stabilize our families. In the toughest times, let yourself think forward to that future moment. This temporary forced separation will result in stronger connective tissue in our society than we have ever seen before. 
And that work can start now. Call a dear friend and have a long conversation over the phone. FaceTime your parents and your grandparents so they won't feel isolated in this challenging time. Write long emails and keep a journal. Play games with your kids and give them tons of attention. And parents, guard their hearts and protect them from the anxiety in our midst. Last week, I saw a post on Facebook. It was a photo of a table that had been set up in a Gresham neighborhood with supplies and food. Even a few coveted rolls of toilet paper were on the table. The sign simply said, take what you need, leave what you can. That's what we're about, Gresham. Stay strong, stay strong. I'm proud to be your mayor each and every day. You inspire me and give me hope. Please know how much energy I am drawing from your words and your actions. Our social contract is strong, maybe the strongest it has ever been. We're all in this together and we will get to the other side of this challenge together, I promise you. God bless you and have a great day.